The most perfect strawberry. Oh, there's another guy there. Oh, another nice perfect one. Oh, another nice perfect one. There's going to be lots. It's beautiful. Lettuce, kale, strawberries, herbs, carrots, cucumbers, onions. It's a beautiful harvest. Three cups of vinegar. Doing two to one. Three cups of water. Six cups of water. One cup of sugar. Another cucumber harvest. Getting ready for the jars. Picked up a nice batch of dill for this one. Fresh. Mmm, smell a vision. We're going liberal on this one, guys. <laughs> Pocket her full, full of dough. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Look at it. So far, so good. Process. A few more things to go. Okay, we got some more herbs like thyme, basils, a few different kinds, oreganos. Oh, jamming her real good. Look at that. Boys and girls, they're packed full of flavor. Okay, now for a couple carrots. Talker and good. They're delicious. They're like eating candy, these things. Plant them every year. Set it and forget it. Now for some garlic. Right from Spain. Garlic is garlic, but it'll make them extra delicious. I won't be eating it, so the skin. And these onions are from the garden. There we go. Very nice. Okay. A little bit of salt. There we go. Okay. There we go. A little black pepper. You can buy pickling spice too, you know. It's basically all the same thing. It's all dried and seasoned, you know, but I basically did it all fresh for the brine. There's one. Packed. There we go, and they should pop because uh, they're sealed from the pressure and the heat. It's all boiled. There we go. One, two, three, five. I could be eating these later today. They're so delicious. All right. Homemade pickling cucumbers from herbs and homemade brine. All custom. It's pretty basic. Anybody can do whatever they want.